Hello and welcome. We're here at Enchanted Lands Park in Roswell, New Mexico for the ACO. My name is Patrick Snipes and I'm here with Louise Gomez. Howdy, howdy. We've done the front ten and now we're on to the back ten. We have Dylan Blant, Cody Bucklew, Jason Weldon, Samuel Smith, and Kirby Carter. Dylan has started off with a really hot front 10, and everybody else is playing steady golf. Sam could pick it up a little bit, and we hope he does during this next 10. Yeah, Dylan definitely out there setting the pace, but Jason and Cody also there in contention. So, And this is the first round, so lots of golf to play. And here we are on hole number one, a little over 350 foot. It's a pretty open shot. It allows backhands and forehands. The wind's going to be coming off the player's left shoulder. And here we have Dylan Blantz. Chooses the forehand route. in the air for a while, but came down in a really nice spot. Yeah. Kirby Carter, here with Storm Disc Golf. Really high forehand on yeah. that one. Should spike down pretty nicely. There on the mound in front of the basket. Cody Buckaloo, he's a native to the area. And he put out a nice backhand yeah. a little bit past the basket. Sam's also in the area. Mm. He has that lifting drive yeah. when he throws. I think those shots are so cool. And then Jason Weldon. Tomahawk, man. Man. Ken with the plate ground play on that. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. What an arm. Ooh, oh. left side. And Dylan, he's away from the straddle. To go nine under. Mm. Oh. The wind's nearly at their back. It's probably coming over the left shoulder just a little bit. Yeah, just a misfire from Dylan. Taking his time on the on the comebacker. Make sure he doesn't three jack the hole. Oh, oh goodness. I had no idea that was gonna happen. No, and it uh kinda gives me strength that he's gotten away from the straddle. Yeah. He was using it with a lot of force. Jason, what a great drive. Mm-hmm. Using that overhand throw to get that distance. Yeah, and you know Dylan putts hard at the basket. So uh, should he miss the basket, it's going to be a decent comebacker. But uh, he makes them a lot more than he misses them. And Dylan to clean up. Yeah. Oh, darn it. That closes the ranks a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cody and Jason picked up two strokes on Dylan. Dylan's still leading the card. Hole number two, 411 foot, a par three. They actually changed this up a little bit. I believe the uh, the footage is around the same, but they moved the basket from across the water, as you see it there, mm -hmm. over to the left. Okay. OB Pull is over. pretty tight Pull on the low. Over. Right on that? There is. It actually, the there's an L shaped OB that is really tough on this one, plus OB off to the right. Okay. You really won't be able to see the OB until we get up to these next shots. So, but yes, it is a tough OB. You have to get at least probably 280 yeah. to 290 just to clear the OB from mm -hmm. the tee box. So, they're kind of going for it in a way. Yes. Is that right to say? 
And at this, being a little bit over 400 foot, they really all have the distance for it. Yeah. So it, it does tempt you into throwing hard at the basket. The, the danger is not clearing into OB, into bound, inbounds over there. You're up there, though. So Sam might have to drop yeah, further back. Not. Okay. Uh, they gave him a really decent spot from what I remember. Okay. There is OB to the right and behind the basket also, so if you do drive the hole, you need to actually put brakes on at the basket. Gotcha. A hard shot is what we're saying. It's a <laughs> yeah. difficult shot. Ah, oh, Dylan didn't like it. No, yeah. I got it kind of flipped up as you go Move to the left. As you can see, there's where this OB line is. Gotcha. Yeah, that's tight. Good up shot. Should have put a little tap in for four. Okay, we got a long bid for two. I wanted it to get up a little. Yeah. So this is Dylan's bid for three. Yeah, I believe so. He's standing just at the OB line. Oh, Great run. Oh, oh. Great run. Yeah. Jason with that overhand shot. Good distance. You can see he lines up the dagger every time. And a little bit of a run, a little bit of a layup as well. Looks like Cody was barely in bounds or was he out? I think Cody was also out of bounds. Okay. And he actually that, marked in. Yeah, that was his mark in. Got it. It is the tougher par three out here. But the wind was kind of in his face a little bit. Yeah. Kind of left it out. Sam, you can see that. You can see they're all taking their time here, too. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody yeah. wants to rush this basket. Brings the scores even closer now. Things are starting to move around a little bit with the course. Yeah. And that's a buckaroo. A little buckaroo. Oh, yeah. Around there. Dietrich disc golfer. Uh, I think so. Very cool. This one looks like a pool. This is 2B and it's a little over 700 foot. Wow. Jason throwing it. Yeah. Really, you want to just get up past the telephone pole there and you'll have a good 150, 200 foot approach. Gotcha. To a basket with nothing around it. It is literally in the middle of a dirt. There is OB up there to the right. You can see where the cars are parked. Mm -hmm. If you do make it over there, it is yeah. OB. There is nothing OB to the left. Fight out. Nice. So a grip lock to the right is OB for a right hand player. Oh, wow. I just felt like I see that. Oh, Wait. And really a pretty simple par four. The telephone pole is probably 380 out there. Yeah. Stay away from that pole, though. And just, I mean, really, that's what all you need to do is what Sam just did. Yeah. Looks like Dylan's not going to settle for that, though. Oh, no. <laughs> a little extra distance, if it's not hard to get, would help the upshot be a little easier. Oh, that's awesome. Ah, a little sawed off there for him. Yeah, it looked like something might have slipped, slipped yeah. on something with that. Cody asking for yeah. It's definitely a touch shot. Yeah, and with nothing to judge the basket off of. Yeah, it Dylan corrects after watching the last three. And he was a lot further, well not a lot, but he was definitely further up the fairway. Yeah, he sure was. There's a circle two bid from Jason. A little short. What do you say, circle's edge for 
the coating. Yeah, if not just a little bit, a couple foot inside it. Yeah, it looks like it. But if that's where Cody's at, then everybody else is inside of him. Yeah. You should see some birdies on this. Yeah, it's yeah, a butt, it's Sam. Like it's starting to warm up a little bit. Sam's taking some of his layers off. Yeah. Sporting the storm on him. in the drive unless you do bite off quite a bit it's all in that upshot there's Mauda to the right uh, that was during the uh, the ace pot money I believe huh? cool hole 2c 500 plus we have OB right in front of us mm -hmm. and OB behind the basket okay uh, the OB actually stretches out to the tee box in front of us to the left a lot of players were actually uh, finding some relief over there for their shot. Mm. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a yank for Kirby. Yeah, at that in the head, the wind is actually the direction his disc went. That's the exact direction the wind's coming. Gotcha. And here's Sam. He's uh, going to put a little more hyzer on it than what he saw Kirby do. Yeah. Yeah, so this hole's kind of a pump, too. Yeah, if you want to get past the OB, you need to be throwing over 400 foot. Is there a uh, forehand route here? Uh, you can play to the right of the OB. Mm -hmm. The grassy area where it kind of looks like it starts to fall in is mm -hmm. where they marked OB. Gotcha. So there's probably a good 40 yards to the right of that before it gets terrible. Yeah. Uh, okay, a little forehand flex play. Should yeah, have the distance. And that, that's a safe play because, as you were mentioning, it falls off to the right there. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to be 400 foot to fall off safe. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to pass the OB, you need to be at. And here's one of those shots to, yeah. the, to the left. Cody kind of contended with that, that telephone pole. Sam shot was inbounds. Hang on, hang on. Uh, he'll have a... Circle's edge putt there. <laughs> Here's where Kirby ended up. Man. Talk about rough. Yep. No footing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, great play. Yeah, great shot. Dylan, he was safe also. So Cody was out of bounds? No, actually, that's in bounds. He, he landed, so that was his second that shot. That should be his second shot, from what I remember. Jason with that forehand. Mm, gives it a good bid. He wanted that one to go in. Not a lot of twos on this hole. Oh, man. Oh, and there's yeah. that tough putt from Dylan again. How hard it was. Yeah. Looks like a different basket than the other ones. Uh, we just went through a couple that were added baskets, okay. but I believe the Mach 2 is what these are. I'm not yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's right. They're the hard to see on film, that's Yeah, for the sure. last hole was a temp hole, so that makes sense, right? Yeah, gotcha. the last two were modified. Temporaries. And then then. Just everybody cleaning up there. Kirby sneaking up with the negative five for the day. This is hole number three. Is the mound protecting it? Little trouble though, up near the basket, am I right? Indeed, and they also drew their OB lines. Okay. And it is a tough, tough yeah, OB okay. line. Out. 
This is the one with the mound. Yes. This okay. Is the mound. And he actually just made it onto the mound. He's asking for it to come left. And this is usually the shot you'll see. Yeah. It's a great hole. These guys are throwing this one. Oh, it's Sam mm, staying in there. Yeah, that leaked out on him a little bit. And it's a real rip to get it over that mound. That mound's yeah. probably sitting 400 and some foot out. And to get it over it, you need 450 foot of power. Damn, I don't believe there was an OB there. Yeah. So he was just approaching on his second. A little bit of a blind shot for these guys. Ooh. <laughs> There's Big Rich in the Big back. Big Rich in the back, shout out. Dylan, and I missed Jason's shot there. Sand Sand he made it. There. Jason made that shot. It was a birdie for him. Sand mm -hmm. cleaning up this far. Okay. One of the only shots I missed while I was out there on this round. It's all right. And it was the best one. <laughs> <laughs> I made sure and apologized. And Kirby cleaning up. Feeling back to that straddle. Mm hmm. Been there, done that. Sometimes you get a little tired, fatigued, but no, no way to know exactly what happened. It could have just been a, a misfire. Take Sam back to par. Hot score right now, being six foot. One of my favorites of what they have here the next couple. This one's a, uh, a shot where you can play a forehand or you can play your backhand. It's about 300 foot. It's got a small creek in front of it and a really hard OB line. Yeah, it's a little, it's a technical shot, which isn't um, the norm on this course. Oh, what a great throw by Jason, the straight line. Didn't get to see that a whole lot. I think he's lining up the wide forehand, am I right? It is, if you, uh, if you take the forehand off to the left before the creek, you have a decent in-circle putt. Yeah. If you, and that was just, that was a great shot. Yeah. Most of the people I've seen were laying up with the forehand and not going for it. Gotcha. Yeah, that was true. Going yeah. for it. Is, can you miss long? Is that safe? That is actually the safe on this is long. You can't go too long. Of course, the telephone pole in the back row on the street could yeah. be throwing way too far. And I guess if you go long, you're putting back in to OB. Which is only about 8 to 10 foot out. Yeah, that's got to fade angles. a little bit. Fade. And that's the play it long strategy. Yeah. Miss it. Flip. It did. And nice. it's out in the open. Yeah. That Tough putt. It'll probably be a three more than likely from Sam. And that's the left area layup that yeah, I was talking yeah. about. If you lay up across the creek there, yeah, you you can have it in the circle putt. I believe he saved his par there. Oh, Sam. Great bid. Kirby with the two. You can see where that OB is. He was actually just at the edge of it. There's the world champ himself in the background, Colby Sanchez. Him and his uh, grandfather, which and uh, grandmother did a spoiler alert. Thing. He won his division. Oh, fantastic! I didn't so. didn't hear. Which I can't remember if it was intermediate or advanced. Intermediate. I oh. believe it was. Yeah. There you see, here's where Jason takes the lead on our card. Very nice. is hole number five. Oh, and that thumber. About 
about 450 foot. So a right-handed thumber, you have to start a little left because it will fade. So he has to aim essentially into the out of bounds and it will fade. So it's kind of scary, but <laughs> it looks he, like. <laughs> it did hit, play out of bounds, and then oh, really? make it to the curb and then wow. jump the curb for him. That's what the relief look on his face yeah. was about. Which again, if, if you saw off a right hand, backhand hyzer, end up OB so it's nice to have a shot that's fading away from OB like a thumber or a forehand and as you can see the wind is coming from the right for these guys yeah if you get your hyzer out there it should help to push it around the corner yeah. it's one of those holes that you want to get 400 foot on and have a under 100 foot approach to the basket yeah And again, the fairway is downhill from the tee pad, so it's it's easy to have something weak on you to the left. That yeah. looks good, though. Yeah, it really was. Sam hey. not taking any chances. No, no, he's looking to find something before this round ends. Yeah. Got the distance, it's good. Oh yeah, ringer. <laughs> and here's that thumber shot by Jason as it squeaked in. Very nice. Great shot. Looks like you might give this one a little bit of a bid. I never got it turned over. Yeah, still have a little bit of meat left on that one. Dylan is going to give this one a bid for sure. Yeah, got it up in that wind a little bit. Yeah. And those were really good shots from these guys. Yeah, that was a great these drive. These are from above Cody. average. Oh, Ooh, he almost walked it in. He thought it was going in. Great bid. Man, Dylan, a little meat left on this one. Mm, great putt. There's that strength that you talked about. Yeah. That putt's pretty tough. Oh, Kirby. Hit the top, falls in. Fantastic. A <laughs> little basket love. Uh, you ought to capture that still frame. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, if you if you run something, you, you run the risk, you know, of of having a comeback or that's less percentage than laying up for it initially. It's a game of percentages. And everybody just tapping out here. We're moving on to hole number six. 350 foot. I love this hole. It's off to the left from its normal position yeah. and put on a riser. The danger here is is that. Did it sometimes it can leak to the left and that's where OB is. So you have to contend with the trees on the right if you want to throw a hyzer. So I think the secret is to throw something a little more towards the understable side of things. What do you think? Oh, indeed, indeed, and that uh, with Jason and his straighter lines that he's been using today, mm -hmm. I thought that would be a really good advantage for him on this hole. Yeah, and the forehand's kind of blocked with that tree right there. In a way, you could manufacture a shot somehow. The hyzer shot is Cody's shot right there. He yeah. put that in the right airspace to get to the basket. Mm -hmm. And maybe a slower disc if you can get it that far. And there's Sam messing with those trees a little yeah. bit over there. So I'd like to know what disc Dylan's throwing there. Oh, 
Possum gas is probably a fairway driver. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be a, a really speedy disc for this shot. Yeah. You have to, yeah, something lofty. That way it'll sit down. Yeah, kind of a halfway bid at that one. Dylan is a little bit past the basket. Yeah. Oh, wow. Great putt. Yeah, it's not slowing down any either. Kirby, it's pretty much a crossing left to right headwind. Ah, oh, just lifted his disc just that little bit. Yeah, it's a good thing it hit the basket. Showing a little frustration. You know, those those putts on an elevated basket with wind, they're intimidating. Oh, goodness. That one just seemed to fall through. Yeah. Yeah, that was unfortunate for sure. Sam picking his par and moving on. This would have been an excellent shot. Yeah. Hmm. like this next hole. Yeah, as we, move, as we move on to hole number seven, it's a really neat, nice little hole. Uh, one of the most pretty views that you can find on the course here. Got a Something. little tunnel. So again, kind of a technical shot. You have to be a lot more thoughtful about your flight path. Dylan flared out a little hard there. Yeah. Getting right at putty. It does seem to set up to be eye for the forehand. Yeah. There definitely is the, the backhand straight or the backhand Einheiser shot. Oh, yeah. Really good shot. Oh, sit. Yeah. Get that off. Made it clean. <laughs> Probably a little less distance than he wanted. Wow. And here's that straighter shot. Nice. Yeah. It's oh, yeah, that shot's nice. there all day. Yeah, that looks like a, a seasoned disc. Something that'll kind of keep its, its turn for a little bit rather than fade quickly. Tree just in his way. Oh, mm. he's been all over that basket today. Yeah. Chasing from nearly the same putt. Yeah, tree really not in his. It's more of a mental thing, just having the tree right there. Mm. So that wind's picking up a little bit, not too much. Dylan having to straddle out in order to get a view at it. Yeah, just didn't let him balance enough on that one, darn it. Hmm. See if Sam can redeem the card here. <laughs> Great yeah, birdie, sure Sam. Does. Way to go. Yeah, that that basket is well protected by these trees. And to see four out of five guys going forehand mm -hmm. really shows how far the game's come along. Yeah. And the only birdie was off of a backhand. Off the backhand. So that change just kind of split that one for Jason. Yeah. We'll clean up for everybody else. Yeah, surprised to only see one birdie on that. Yeah. That does bring Sam back into the negatives. Yeah. And there he is. He's he did a great job this weekend. Hole number eight, 500 and some foot. Uh, there's OB off to the right, OB off to the left. Here's these guys finishing up. Sam leading the way, last hole of the day. The mound you see out there is about 400 foot. There's, as I mentioned, OB to the right, mm -hmm. and there is marked OB to the left where you start to see the wild grass. Okay. Ooh. Four. <sighs> Darn, that, that's just a misfire from Dylan. Yeah, he started this round really hot. Yeah. 
seems to be cooling off. Yeah, that one looks bit. like it might leak. And that is the big problem with this too, especially with this wind blowing right yeah. to left right now. Would you say this shot? This is a uh, more of a, a two-shot hole to get to the basket. Uh, for myself, I did see some guys putting inside circle two. Gotcha. Again, a, a percentage thing, a risk reward thing. If you can get it over the mound, you have an opportunity to get eagle for a putting eagle. Of course, yeah. you could always throw one in. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's hard when you're out there. You want to get those. Mm. You want to get those birdies. You want to get those eagle looks, but. Yeah, and that's you know Jason was wanting that. He just yeah. threw it a little bit low. Yeah. He definitely has the power to get it there, and so does Dylan. Definitely further out than he wanted to be. Yeah, this hole is a lot further than I remember it. Jason going to his chalk bag. He doesn't like it. Sam shot that should be pretty decent. And that's pretty much what you want, just a really nice soft approach. Mm -hmm. As you can see, Kirby standing on there, he would have got another yeah. 10 or 15 foot, he would have been putting. Yeah. that wind coming from the right and yeah right now it's gonna blow across Dylan's face right Tester to left in the day oh, a little low but a bunch of cleanups to finish up the day well not to end the day in the first round of the first day it is true. They did a morning round and an afternoon round. Yeah. It was a good uh, start to a contest. Yeah. Real good mood in the box. There was, of course, you've seen the up and down, but the uh, the attitude of the players really never changed towards each other, towards the game. Yeah. Real decent weather, too. You can see everybody else is starting to walk back. Mm hmm All right. Well, here we have it. Dylan Valanza at 500, Cody Bucklew at 4, Jason Weldon at 6, Sam Smith at 200, and Kirby Carter at 6. We're going to be seeing some of these guys on the next round. We hope to be hearing from you guys and seeing what this thing comes of. Thank you, Louise. Appreciate yeah. your help on that. Absolutely.